مليون مهدم تملأه الهموم متى سيعمر ومتى سيصنع سلام فيه سنوات حرب طويلة مرت وهو مرهق Hanin doesn't have a word in English. In Arabic means longing, yearning, something that is dear. And there is no other word to translate it exactly. Hanin is the nostalgia of everything we've lost. It all started with stories written by Syrian refugee children in informal tented settlements in Lebanon. <laughs> They have lost their houses, they have lost a sense of belonging, and they have lived terrible things no child should live ever. So a group initiated a press club to allow the children express what they have felt. <laughs> Many of the children came here extremely traumatized. And a way of healing was through expressing themselves and through writing. Stories about their trauma and their daily struggles. We need to express our problems. We cannot bury them inside. This is why initiatives like Art Therapy help them come across these, these hardships. When the kids wrote the poems, we promised them that we'll do something with it. We brainstormed and we all came with this idea of getting artists, Lebanese and Syrian together to illustrate these words. Hanin brings together the voices of Syrian children expressed by Lebanese artists. It's a generational transmission of memory through art, where a generation of artists have lived the war in their childhood are echoing Syrian children living the war uh, at present time. During the opening night, the children were invited to present Hanin standing tall in front of the artwork that interpreted their stories. When the public started arriving, they didn't know how to interact with the children. It was unlike anything I've ever seen in Lebanon. <laughs> The pride we've seen in their eyes, the fact that they were able to get the message across, I think that gave them happiness and a sense of hope. Syria is entering its eighth years of conflict. There is this numbness that sets in. This is where Hanin tried to revive a bit the sensitivity and the awareness that no child should endure war. Uh, 
usually the, the people that come out of the exhibition, they have the need to talk to us. They tell us how, how it changed their point of view. This is why Hanin is an endeavor that should be multiplied. I hope that this exhibition will go around in many countries. The more this will be seen, the more it will create impact. I've done many, many projects in my life, but I am very honored that I ended my 35 years with UNICEF with an exhibition like Hanin. I feel Hanin is the maturity of all these years. It's an honest project. Hanin is just pure honesty. I would, I would do Hanin forever if I can. Children that are the generation of tomorrow should never ever be a lost generation. We want this generation of Syrian children to believe that everything can be done if they have the will to do something for their country.